This is Rock and Roll English. Real people, real English. Here's your host, Martin Johnson. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Rock and Roll English. Episode number 114, baby. Oh yeah. Um, anyway, in today's show I speak to Boom Boom Cannon about... A very strange topic, okay? I know I talk about a lot of shit on this show, but this really goes one extra level, I think. Um, but don't worry, though, because this is as bad as it will ever get. I can't imagine ever speaking about something more ridiculous than this in the future. Although, never say never, a wise man once said. Not me, someone else, but it is a wise thing to say. So it could get more ridiculous, but probably not. Um, anyway, one last thing to say. Remember, the opportunity to become part of the Rock and Roll English family goes away today at midnight when Big Ben strikes 12. That's right, baby. Just remember, you don't need PayPal anymore if you want to do it. Um, and you get a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you think, fuck, this is shit, don't worry, I will give you your money back. You get a podcast six days a week and you get to be part of the Facebook group. I'm not going to talk about it anymore for a couple of months. So don't worry. Here is the show. Happy listening. Boom, boom, cannon. How are you today? I'm good, Martin. How are you? Always fantastic, boom, boom. Always fantastic. Stupid Good. question, really. Stupid question. Yeah. We, it would be unusual for you to start it with, uh, yeah, I'm not feeling great, actually, mate. That's, uh, can we talk about that? <laughs> There's nothing worse than that, though, is there? How are you? No. Not no. good. You say, oh, look, I, I, it was just a question. I don't really yeah. care how you are, okay? It's just a simple question. A polite question. That's it. I don't care, okay? Just um, say you're fine. Exactly. Yeah. Very much what I do, because I'm not fantastic. I'm fucking terrible, but I just no. don't want to bore you yeah. with the details. Me too. I've actually got a bit of a cold, but oh, um, I thought... Hell, boom, boom. Look, okay, no one, no one cares. You've got a cold, yeah? Okay. <laughs> Who gives a fuck? Yeah, which is a nice way to say, who cares? Yeah. Um, so I've got a little bit of news for you, Boom Boom. Clarification, Charlie, in last week's show, I won't mm. ask if you listened to it because I know you didn't. Don't, don't bother. Yeah, no need to ask. <laughs> no need to ask. Um, she agreed with you and said that it's not okay to call women birds. Did she? Okay, yeah, yeah I thought... Uh... I thought she might, actually. Yeah. Yeah. You're just such a considerate yeah. considerate person, aren't you, Boom Boom? You, I am. Boom Boom is the type of person that says the type of thing to his girlfriend, like, if you're happy, I'm happy. That's, that's such a Boom yeah, Boom line. You know, I don't, I don't take that as a bad thing. That's, a, that's not a negative you're, you're throwing at me there. Well, yeah, um, sure. I'm very much, you know, if I'm happy, it would be good if you're happy, but mm. if not... It's okay because I'm happy. So that's <laughs> mainly you just want to focus on you being happy. That's kind that's of the, the most thing. important thing. Boom, boom. That's the yeah. most important thing. Um, anyway, how do we start the show? With a review. Oh yeah, baby. Um, we have a review from Lena Rooker. You may have heard that name before. <laughs> I and have it, indeed. Yeah, it big says, fan. Um, excellent teaching skills. Very professional. With two thumbs up. And if anyone doesn't know, that's actually from my mother. Okay. Um, I don't know if there were any real reviews because no one sent them to me. I didn't look as always. So if someone could send me a real one, that would be where good. did um, Where did Lena leave this review? It wasn't just like a text message straight, no, straight to you, it, was it? It wasn't a text message. Oh. It was on Facebook. Although I didn't ask her to do it. She must have just listened to me. Um, it would have been better on iTunes. But, you know, she did it on Facebook. Sure. It's okay. Don't worry about it. But hey, lovely, lovely review. And uh, and hello to, to Lena, yeah, if, you, exactly. if you're listening, which I'm sure you are. Oh, yeah. she definitely is. Of course. Is. Yeah. Um, so going back to the second part of her review, they're very professional. We're speaking about something very professional today, um, which is actually penises. Okay, we're talking, the whole podcast <laughs> is about penises. We talk about them a lot in the podcast, but I thought we let's do. dedicate a whole, a whole episode to them, um, mainly because... Um, I was looking on the Guardian website recently. That's the type mm. of respectable person I am. Reading Quite highbrow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, and on the website, there was an article all about penises because someone called Laura Dodsworth has written a book about penises. So if anyone's thinking, oh, this is so stupid, you're so immature, it was on the Guardian website. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay, and it's a it's a book. Essentially, it's actually just about a book that we're talking about. The the book exactly. just happens to be about penises. <laughs> yeah, but it's exactly. a literature review. If it, you like. it, literature review. That's exactly yeah. what it is. Boom, boom. Yeah, um, and the book is called Manhood, which is another way to say penis, basically. Um, and apparently, it starts with every penis tells a story. Okay, so. <laughs> Great way. That's one of the best introductions to a book I could ever think of. Every penis tells a story. Actually tells a story as well. I don't know if yeah. they speak. I don't know if there are penises that speak. No, no, I don't. Um, so have you, you've been thinking about what kind of stories your penis <laughs> would tell? Because you like to tell a story, don't you? So. I do like to tell stories. Um, I've never seen my penis telling a story, but my, one day it might as well. Okay. Um so Laura Dodsworth says that each penis is unique. Apparently they come in different shapes and sizes, stuff like this. She says yep. um, some penises have led full lives and they are happy, whilst other penises are not so happy. Um, my first immediate thought was how she seems to be referring to penises as actual people. like they, <laughs> Yeah, with, with sort of thoughts and, and feelings. feelings. And, yeah, like if they yeah. feel happy, if they feel sad. Yeah. Yeah, um, I've I've never thought about my own penis that way. It's kind of having separate. I think I've always thought about it kind of feeling however I feel, not having a kind of separate. Well, I'm feeling a bit shit, but my penis is happy. So <laughs> if your penis is happy, everything is fine. Um, apparently, though, she wrote a book um, in the past, kind of similar to this, about women's mm. breasts. Um, okay. So obviously, breasts is a nice way to say boobs, tits, lots of other, lots of other words. <laughs> we, I mean, we could do a whole podcast on just words for that part of the body. Um, mm. But she's already done one about breasts, and she says that um, breasts are unique as well, and they can also tell stories. But I straight away thought, are they unique? Because there's two of them essentially, mm. isn't there? Yes, but some sometimes you know the the. Uh, I mean, I'm no, you know, as you know, I'm no expert when it comes to breasts. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> not that I am either. I just want people to know. I was actually thinking probably yeah. for the breast one, probably get clarification mm. Charlie involved because she's yeah, got some of them. Best. Yeah, probably best. Yeah, she's got, she's got some of them. Sure. Some. I'd, two, I'd, imagine, probably, I'd imagine two. two. Yeah, I said some, yeah. like it could be five or six, but <laughs> yeah. that's doubtful. <laughs> yeah. But no, from the from the little that I do know, you know, often the you know a bit like with balls, you know, the right can be different to the left. So they they, <laughs> they are, are unique, unique as I'd well. Uh, I don't know yeah. if they have feelings as well, like the uh, penises do. Um, yeah. She said apparently that that was very delicate. Um, the situation of writing a story about breasts, but it was more delicate writing one about penises because she says that we're not so used to seeing them in everyday life we see more breasts apparently so i wanted to ask mm. you boom boom straight up so straight up like direct do you see more penises or breasts in your life do i see more penises or breasts <laughs> in my life well as you know i've been going to um a naked sauna <laughs> recently here in sweden and i have seen a lot of penises so uh in recent times, I'm definitely going to say penises. Well, good on you. Okay, good on you. It's a nice way to say sort of well done. Um, yeah. So she continues this book, obviously. Um, I'm sort of reading bits, obviously, not the whole book. I haven't read the whole book. I just had an article of it. Um, so there are lots of pictures of penises in the book. Um, she interviewed 100 men, apparently, for the book. Um, and apparently before she interviewed them, she took a picture of their penis because apparently they reveal more about themselves after having a picture of their penis taken, which I thought is a very interesting interview mm. technique. Mm. Maybe we should try that next time we record the pod. <laughs> um, just start by showing each other our penises so that we really get a sort of... But then it'll you know, be a great podcast. So the, the next yeah. podcast, if it's fantastic, you know why, okay? Because we showed each other our penises. Um so she had to get, obviously, different penises of different people. And she wanted some specific jobs. And one of them was a vicar. So maybe people don't know what a vicar is, reliable Russ. So why don't you try and explain it? A vicar is, a well, what we call a, a man of the cloth or a man of God. Is a, is a priest. Yeah. It's sort of a... Church yeah. of England one, though, isn't it? Church of England. <laughs> Church yeah. of England one, I think. Yeah. I think they're the ones, they're yeah, allowed to have sex, yeah. though, aren't they? So maybe they're allowed also to... 
Okay. Encouraged, yeah. encouraged, if anything, I think. To also show their yeah. fetuses, I don't know. Um, and then the one I found even more ridiculous was a man with a micro penis. So that was like on her thing to find a man with a micro penis, so a very small penis. Mm. Again, if you see like mm. an advert in the newspaper, I'm looking for a man with a micro penis. Do you look at that and think, I've got one of them. I'll, I'll send her an email. <laughs> I'll do that. Yes, please. Yeah, very strange, isn't it, this book? Yeah, very strange, very strange book. Book. the type of books though i like boom boom although i must admit i've never read any books about penises or breasts or any of and parts of the human body actually and um, she also talks about how a man apparently uh, made a sort of analogy of his penis and compared it to a badly behaved uncle at a wedding um you know there's all well apparently there's always an uncle that gets really drunk and acts like a bit of an idiot at the wedding and does stupid mm. things and apparently obviously this man's penis does that as well we're we're both now well, uncles aren't we exactly so. i also thought this badly behaved uncle at a wedding thing i've never really seen that i don't think i've seen it but maybe maybe that is because we are the badly behaved <laughs> uncles so we're not seeing it good point i mean i have been badly behaved at other people's wedding but the only time in fact when i was at my brother's wedding there were no there were no I wasn't a wedding. I wasn't a wedding. I wasn't an uncle there. I definitely wasn't a wedding. No, just an uncle. Just an uncle, yeah. Definitely not a wedding. Um, and apparently, again, going back to the penises, that um, one thing that many people said when they were talking about penises is how when they first saw their father's penis when they were kids, how intimidated they were by that. <laughs> I mean, I, I must admit, I did find that hilarious of like a five-year-old looking at his dad's penis, just thinking, fucking hell. <laughs> yeah, I mean, when you're a child, your dad's penis <laughs> is very, very, it's like, a, compared to your own, it's just, a, it's a different animal altogether, <laughs> different isn't animal. it? <laughs> it sort of bears very little kind of relation to your own, doesn't it? It's, uh, yeah. Um, yeah. everything just seems bigger when you're younger doesn't it it's like when <laughs> I don't you you go to sort of your friend's house about 20 years later and you see the garden and you think oh fuck I thought this garden yeah. was massive so you know so to, really to big, all of yeah. the children that saw their dad's penis when they were five look at it again now when you're an adult and I'm sure it's not that big okay so just, probably not that big that's a way yeah. to get over this sort of horrific experience so to get over it to recover from it you know just just ask your dad to have a look at it now okay and everything will be yeah, fine. yeah i think as well because like as a, as a young child if you're sort of maybe you're sort of taken into toilets or with your dad and you're sort of almost at eye level aren't you with, with like <laughs> the penis when you're young so you're sort of just faced with this monster this penis <laughs> yes my, this monster <laughs> Um, it's yeah. interesting you mentioned actually looking at a penis there because uh, one of the points in the book from Dodsworth um, was a very simple thing she wrote some penises are nice to look at some penises are not nice to look at <laughs> well it's in, the, it's in the eye of the beholder isn't it I exactly yeah, it depends. yeah. Depends. Depends. depends on who's looking at the penis yeah she's also apparently described herself as the champion of penises um I don't know how you can give yourself that title. A champion, what, what competition did she enter? Like an Olympic champion? <laughs> did, is it a sport now? I don't know. Yeah, I'd like, I'd like Dodsworth to elaborate on, on what, she means, <laughs> what she means by that. And yeah, can we challenge for the title? That's, <laughs> that's what I'd like to know. Good, good point. I'm very interested in giving her a run for her money. Yeah, so, let's take, to, take to on Dodsworth. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Also some nice vocabulary. So let's take her on. Let, let's challenge her to win this prized title of the champion of penises. Um, and then in the book, apparently each person is obviously interviewed and they sort of talk about their penis and other stuff. And there's a few sort of snippets of the people interviewed. So snippets are um, like short summaries of the interview. And one person says, I don't really like to say penis or cock. So I've given it a name, which is Rufus. <laughs> Rufus. Okay. A, a good name. Okay. Um, I'm not going to ask you if you've got a name for yours, Boom Boom. Okay. Because that's, it's a very strange, I hope the answer's no. I, I don't. <laughs> I, I honestly, I honestly don't. Uh, well, Rufus on, is a good name. Not, I can be honest with that. 
Yeah. Well, Rufus is a good name if you want to. Yeah. Um, did Did you have uh, kind of when you were young? Like, did your parents give? You know, how did they? <laughs> uh, did they have a name? You know, how did they describe it? Because you don't really maybe say sort of cock to a to a child. Do you? Yeah, that, say penis. That, that is a good point actually. Like my brother, for example. Well, he hasn't got any boys, but to his two girls. When they have to say vagina, they invented the word nunny. Okay. Um, but yeah, I don't know what the sort of children's name for cock is. Well, I, I, I do remember what um, <laughs> was used when I was young. And I should, I should stress, I was very young, you know. <laughs> Which was? Um, diddly. Diddly. <laughs> Yeah, diddly. <laughs> so always these nice sounding words, aren't they? Nuni. Always sort of finishing sort of that Y sound. Nuni, yeah, kind diddly. of quite jovial, yeah. quite, <laughs> yeah. yeah, quite fun. <laughs> Let's make penises and vaginas fun. Let's just add a Y to the end. Yeah. It's great. It's great. Everything's I fine. I like it. Yeah. Um, so this guy talking about Rufus, his penis, um, says that Rufus can actually help him sort of understand if he's feeling sick. He said a few years ago, Rufus wasn't rising. Um, it sounds like he wasn't waking up or something, but I think mm. we all know what, what he's actually talking about. Wasn't moving up. Um, sure. And then apparently that's because he had a health condition because he had high blood pressure. So, you know, if you just look at your penis to see how you feel, it's again, it's what we said. They've got characters of their own. Yeah, well done, Rufus. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Another guy, his one starts with, I have a big penis, and that gives me quite a few advantages in life. <laughs> Great. Good on you. Well done. He said, um, I've had a few scenarios where I've met people through dating apps, and we've just got naked straight away. So remember, straight away is immediately, rather than going for a coffee. So again, how does that work? Do you just meet someone in the middle of the street? And just take off your just, clothes. And she knows you've got a big penis just from the picture of your face. Mm, yeah. Yeah, I don't know how that works. Um, but then maybe, you know, maybe the penis isn't big enough. So uh, maybe that's, if you've got a big penis, it's the sort of thing you do. <laughs> exactly. Just, just get it out all the time. Just he get said, naked. The same person said, because obviously he's got such a wonderful penis, um, that he's found pictures of it on dating apps from someone else. So someone else has obviously decided to put a picture of a penis on there. Like, you know, this is what I've got. And it's his penis. So can you just imagine looking at a picture thinking, I've seen that penis before. <laughs> yeah. Fucking hell, I wait reckon, a minute. That's my I reckon, penis. <laughs> I recognise that guy. And then sort of compare it, getting you, getting the pe getting his penis out and comparing it to the photo. Like, yeah, <laughs> definitely it is. my penis. Definitely is my, my penis. penis. <laughs> Yeah. I can't imagine that. No, frankly. luckily no. it's never happened to me. I don't, there aren't, uh, I, as far to my knowledge, there are no pictures of mine uh, knocking around on the internet anywhere anyway, so. <laughs> Lovely term, they're knocking around, just sort of like, well, just there, basically. Yeah, yeah, same, okay? And I very much want to keep it that way, okay? Um, anyway, I think we've covered all of the penis bases. Good, good. And we, I, feel, yeah, I feel like we've said the word penis far too many times in this in this podcast uh yes i completely agree with you so maybe let's take a penis break of like you know not saying it anymore and trying not to bring it up in podcasts because you know we've definitely this joke yes. is definitely finished now hasn't it yeah yes move on to another penis, penis hiatus <laughs> exactly good, good word that one yeah. that's a good word in fact, i don't even know what that means i was sort of trying to pretend i do sort of saying mm. yeah but i didn't i thought that yeah. i could sort of i sensed it <laughs> yeah so it just means a sort of a break really a, a sort of a yeah a sort of a, a a break, a, a temporary gap in using break. the word. Got it, boom, boom. Break, yeah. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to Google that now and check that I'm actually correct. Yeah. Okay, well, you do that. Well, I'm just going to leave you one last thing on the book again. It says, um, she wrote, half the people in the world have got penises, so it's unfair to be cruel about them. Amen to that. Okay. <laughs> philo 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 philosophical point, that's what I wanted to say, to end on. Yes, lovely. I think we can all, all agree with that one. Exactly. Anyway, thanks a lot for your time, Boom Boom. Thanks, Martin. See you again soon. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, so that was me and Boom Boom Cannon speaking about penises. Oh, yeah. Um, there wasn't actually that much rock and roll vocabulary today because we were just too busy focused on the penises, I think. Um, but we did have the word manhood, which, remember, is another way to say 
penis, which I think we mentioned once or twice in the podcast. That word, the word penis was said a couple of times. Um, we also had the word straight up when I said I wanted to ask you straight up. So that means I wanted to ask you directly. I wanted to ask you straight away, honestly. A straight question is like an honest, direct question. And a straight answer is the same. Um, I also said to Boom Boom, good on you. So good on you is like saying, well done. It's the same. I also said that's the only way to get over the horrific experience. So when you get over something, you recover from it. If your girlfriend leaves you and you feel shit, you might feel shit for a few months but then you will get over it. You will recover, hopefully. Um, we also had the term give her a run for her money when I said that I wanted to be the penis champion. So if you give someone a run for their money, you compete against them, let's say. Like Juventus, okay? Juventus always win the championship in Italy at football. So someone needs to give them a run for their money to, you know, make it difficult for them. Um, we also had the term straight away when we were talking about that man that just got naked straight away. So that's immediately. The term knocking around also came up when Boom Boom said there are no pictures of his penis knocking around on the internet which basically just means there are no pictures there a classic example will be um oh i need an adapter because um, i'm going to italy do i have one or do i need to buy one and then i say mm, i'm sure there will be one or two knocking around somewhere in the house you will find them somewhere because they are there um boom boom also used some words that i didn't actually understand um so probably going best and to listen to his explanation for them because he's got a much wider a much richer vocabulary than me i'm just a man of the street okay one of the people the people's champion although one day i would like to be the penis champion anyway that's enough of the word penis and enough podcast for today i will see you all again soon people remember to go to the website for the rock and roll vocabulary and if you want to become a member of the rock and roll english family if you don't don't worry i still love you as long as you promise me that you will keep on rocking thanks so much for listening to rock and roll english for more great content and to stay up to date visit rock and roll english.com and facebook.com slash rock and roll english we'll catch you next time